everyone. This is Fire Freak 57 here. Uh, it is time for system test number 12, I believe. So what you're looking at right now is my Wheelock 7002T. Now, it had been sounding really scratchy. So anyways, let's get on with the system. As you can see there, we still have the same um, smoke detector as last time. Coming down, we have the silent switch. Alright, so right there, we have my Game Well Century. I don't know what's up with the camera and the brightness. Up here, we got my Wheelock RSS remote strobe. That is set on 30 candle. Eh, maybe that'll focus later. Um, but, uh, without further ado, let's get on the test. So, let's begin the test in three, two, one. So we'll go ahead and reset the pull station. Okay, so now to reset the sentry, with our screwdriver here. I don't know if I can do this one handed. Let's see. Yeah, I did. There's M4628 is the model number. It says sentry. Which back to normal. Oops. This may be the way it stayed up. Where did the screwdriver go? Fell. Here it is. Ah. And it falls over again. Sorry about that. This thing is not really easy to reset, especially if you lose your uh, screwdriver in the, uh, in the process. Alright, there we go. Okay, now we can flip that back. And uh, that's reset, so uh, next we will go ahead and activate the smoke detector. Now the test switch on this detector has been acting up lately. Uh, when I um, so when I put the screwdriver in here and test it, the alarm LED goes on. All right, so I go and I silence the alarm, and I remove the. I don't want to do it now, but I remove the detector from the base, and the alarm LED goes off. I put it back on. It's clear, right? I go to flip this back to on, and I do, and the alarm starts going off. But everything's reset, and this green LED is flashing, and there's no alarm. So, I try pulling the pull station, maybe it'll turn off, it keeps going. And flip down the silent switch, done. Uh, reset that, reset it again, keeps going. 
I have to unplug the power supply to get this thing back to normal. And I managed to do it somehow, but it was really weird. I think it's maybe because this controls this, and this is hooked into that and this. But I don't know. Three, two, one. our fingers that this doesn't go back into a lower. See, it's doing it. Alright, I gotta put this on tape. Alright. So we got this normal. I can take, this take this off. See, it's doing what it did before. Now, I'm going to try something here. Now I got to put it back. Okay. I don't know why it does that. Here. Let's try something. Take this off. It's on. Plug in. Okay. There we go. I don't know why it does that. It seems odd. See? Because now it's normal. So if anybody knows why that happens, that's awesome. You can see the Honeywell logo on this. 7002T. And, uh, yeah. It's been acting up, but I kind of fixed it, so, yeah. And, uh, well, um, that was System Test, uh, 12, I believe. A visual here. And that's it, so thank you for watching.